In this lecture, we will study about web security. Web security is a term which deals with the security of data over internet or it is on the web or it is being transferred to the internet. So, for example, when you are transferring data between client and server and you have to protect that data and that security of data is your web security okay or when your data is transferred to the internet or it is on the internet fine so the security of that type of data is considered under the web security term websites are always prone to security threats or risks we know that uh, when uh, many people are accessing websites and there are people uh, who are good who are bad who are accessing your websites so uh, your websites are always prone to threats if there are any vulnerabilities so uh, your websites can be used for hacking assaults that install malicious software or malwares on the visitor computers and this all comes under the domain of cyber crime or cyber security hacking of website may result in the theft of important customer data so uh, the important customer data uh, may may be your credit card information the login details of the customers the, or, or or it can be destruction of one's business and propagation of illegal content to the users okay so while somebody hacks your websites they can either steal the information the important inf information of the customers or they can even propagate the illegal content to your users through your website okay so therefore there is need of security considerations and the need in the context of web security okay there ha there has to be some measure there has to be some parameters which should be considered for the security of your website or the data which is on the website or uh, it is being transferred from the from the client to server from the client to server means from your browser to server so in that context we have uh, following uh, parameters which need to be considered while we go for the web security so these are the considerations we have to take while we go for the security of web data first one is updated softwares it is mandatory that one should keep the softwares updated and it plays a vital role in keeping your website secure when you are having a website thus any software related to your website need to be updated it is mandatory to update softwares for example antivirus softwares then at number two you have beware of sql injection for the security of your web you should be aware about the sql injection that is structured query language injection that that this sql injection is an attempt to manipulate your data or your database by inserting a row code into your query okay when somebody can send a query to your uh, website and this query can be a row code okay and uh, this is when sent to your website and while it get executed and it can modify your database it can modify your sql tables okay so it can either delete it can either modify uh, your database or the tables or it can retrieve the important information also okay so one should be aware about the sql injection attack then next you have uh, cross site scripting in cross site uh, scripting that is denoted by xss here uh, it allows the attackers to inject client side script into your web pages so the attacker can inject client side script into your web pages so the example of such type of attack is submission of forms so attacker can submit uh, his script in the form of forms or it can upload the script and that script somehow gets uh, executed on your web website 
and uh, that can infect your website okay so that's also an, a kind of attack which can happen to your website that should be avoided next is your error message you need to be very careful about the error messages which are generated to give the information to the users while users try to uh, access the website and some error messages are generated due to one or other reason and uh, you should be uh, very careful while providing the information to the users for example users login attempt if the attacker impersonates somebody and tries to log in into your website then uh, the attacker will provide either user id and password or some other credentials and when the attacker provides wrong user id or the password the your website should not give sufficient information so that the attacker would guess what are the user id and passwords so uh, while you provide the error message that should not give that much information uh, from which the attacker would guess the uh, user id and password so that should be uh, taken uh, into account uh, one should be careful about that error messages next is data validation validation of data should be performed on both server side and client side so it should be performed on both server and client side and uh, if we perform the data validation on both side that will give us the authentication after that uh, we have uh, passwords the the usage of passwords should be enforced and uh, the the minimum length for these uh, passwords should be eight characters as we see in many cases we have experienced that there are minimum eight characters in the password and it should be a combination of both upper and lower case letters along with some special characters special characters also okay so these kind of approaches should be used while we select the passwords eight characters should be the minimum length of the password upper and lower case characters should be used along with some special characters so these are some uh, around six parameters that should be considered while we go for the web security or the, while we go for the security of our data while it is being transferred from client to server that is from browser to server or while the data is sent to the network okay so uh, all these things they are uh, included in a single protocol that is uh, your ssl protocol uh, secure socket layer protocol so it is a good practice to use ssl while transferring the personal information between website and web servers or databases in the next lecture we will study about ssl that is secure socket layer thank you for watching